All right, everybody, I got a brand new chair because I'm going to be doing online school all the time. So I wanted a chair that was like comfortable to sit in and I love it. I love her a lot. That's not what this video is about. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Frankie and today we are going to be doing the 20 questions book tag. Um, I'm not sure who the creator of the tag is originally, but I will put the link um, to their channel when I find it in the description. I have not been making videos in a while, but I am back and I am definitely intending to keep making videos. Might slow down to once every other week instead of every week. You know, we'll have to see what happens, how much work my classes end up being. All that sort of thing but you know i think i'll be able to do once a week um i'm pretty sure at this point but don't hold me to that so anyway like i said i'm going to be doing the 20 questions book tag today I just want to do a fun tag video that wouldn't require super much effort on my part um, because again lots of work school college all that kind of thing let's just jump right into it enough rambling from me the first question in the tag is how many books are too many for a series now personally i am a trilogy girl i love trilogies so like three um, books in a series is like my ideal number i also like odd numbers so you know three or five is good um you know percy jackson here's olympus they're some of my favorite series and they both have five books but honestly i think that however many books you, an author needs to get their story told get their point across i'm okay with reading all the books <laughs> in the series if i'm actually that interested in a series no i haven't really been venturing into a ton of like super long series maybe i should get more into long series i don't know i don't know so next question is how do you feel about cliffhangers I don't really mind cliffhangers because you know I'm a writer as well so I can like understand why another writer would want to put in a cliffhanger why they think it is necessary and that sort of thing I definitely think they add tension a lot and honestly I don't I don't really mind I've noticed ever since joining booktube and joining book twitter and seeing people talk about books and characters so much that I tend to have less emotional attachment to characters than most people who read books to like sometimes they'll be like I actually sobbed when I finished this book and I was like you know like I felt the emotion but I didn't feel the need to express the emotion that intensely you know so I think that's part of the reason why I don't really care about cliffhangers that much but I will say that you know in middle school that Mark of Athena cliffhanger read that book as soon as it came out it ended on that note and I was like that cliffhanger really did get to me. <laughs> Next question is hardcover or paperback? I love paperback books. I'm a paperback stan, if you will. Um, I think they're so much easier to read. They're so much cheaper, which I like <laughs> a lot. And like, honestly, I like the way they look on my shelf. I know people generally prefer the way that hardcover books look on their shelves to the way paperback books look. But honestly, I like it. I think it's cleaner. I think it's nicer. I don't worry about losing dust jackets and then the book looks bad because there's no dust jacket. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a paperback fan. I like it. So next question is favorite book. I have a lot of favorite books and I have talked about them before. Some of the highlights, Station Eleven by Emily St. John Mandel, Radio Silence by Alice Oseman, um, Perks of Being Wallflower by Steve Shabosky, Not a Book but Angels in America by Tony Kushner is my favorite play. The Bell Jar by Sylvia Plath, you know, the list goes on and on. You can check out my first video if you want the list of like all of my favorite books because it's in there, I'm pretty sure. Next question is what is my least favorite book? I never really read books that I think I'm going to hate. So this is kind of like a hard one to answer. Um, I would probably have to choose like a book that I had to read for school and did not like. Um, and the first one of those that comes to mind is Balzac and the Little Chinese Seamstress by I have no idea who it's by. Um, I had to read this sophomore year and I absolutely despised it. I thought it was the most boring book I've ever read in the world. Um, you know, maybe if I read it again, I will be able to appreciate it more, but honestly, did not like that. Um, next question, love triangles, yes or no? So this is a bit of a controversial answer, but I actually love love triangles. I am like a huge sucker for them. Um, I love love triangles where you're not sure who the right person for the character is going to be um i love them when they're like pure love triangles when like they're like all three of the people in the triangle are like interested in another in some way i love them when it's super obvious who the main character is supposed to be with i just love drama when i'm reading books and character dynamics and nothing is more drama than a love triangle 
So I, I'm a fan, what can I say? So next question is, what is the most recent book that I read that I couldn't finish? Again, I kind of don't really DNF books and I don't really read books that I think I'm gonna hate. I generally tend to like pause books, so like I'll start reading them and be like, this is not the right time to be reading this book right now. And then I'll like pause them and come back to them later. I think the one that I did that for most recently was American Spy by Lauren Wilkinson, but I am intending to come back to that um, eventually, so. Yeah. Next question is a book that I am currently reading. I've been reading a lot of plays recently for school. I'm in a playwriting class and then I'm in another for seminar class that is like about plays and theater and drama and art and that kind of thing. So I'm ending up reading a lot of plays. The one that I'm reading right now is The Seagull by Anton Chekhov. I'm also about to start Midnight Lie by Marie Rutz. Koski? Rudkowski, I think, <laughs> um, because I just came in from the library, so those two I'm kind of currently reading right now. Last book that I recommended to somebody, that is the next question, um, I probably recommended Station Eleven to somebody. I recommend that book all the time because I love it so much and I feel like people don't really know about it a ton, you know? It's like somewhat popular on booktube, but in my real life I find that not a lot of people have read it, so I recommend it a lot. Um, next question is oldest book I've read by publication date. I would probably have to say any of the Shakespeare plays that I've read. Um, I actually looked it up and historians think that Taming of the Shrew was one of his earliest works, so I think technically Taming of the Shrew would be the oldest book or oldest book, play, whatever, that I've read by publication date. I don't know, I read, I read a lot of Shakespeare. <laughs> Newest book that I have read by publication date is Loveless by Alice Oseman. I don't, this came out, gosh, how long has it been? Two months ago? It came out in July, right? Wow, I can't believe July was two months ago. <laughs> but yeah, I read it like the day after it came out, loved it so much. Favorite author right now, speaking of Loveless, I would definitely categorize Alice Oseman as one of my new favorite authors. Love her, love her work so much. Um, and also Maggie Stiefvater. Also really love her, read The Raven Cycle, loved it so much. Yeah, they're two of my favorite recent authors that I can think of. Next question is buying books or borrowing books. I like doing both. Sometimes I will borrow books like that if I'm not sure that I'll like them. And then if it turns out that I really like them and I want them to be part of my collection, I'll go out and buy them. I don't like spending a lot of money. So I will not buy books that like I'm not certain I will like or not. Um, you know, like I have to be like <laughs> pretty definite that I'm going to like this book um, before I go out and buy it. I don't like having a lot of books that um, I don't like, you know, like I like my shelves to be full of books that I have loved, books that I have some sort of attachment to. I just don't like f want the energy of books that I didn't like. It, does that make sense? You know, I don't have a ton of shelf space, so I'm not gonna waste it on books that I gave three stars. <laughs> Next question is what is a book that everybody seems to love but that you disliked? For this one, I'm gonna have to go with <laughs> Little Women by Louisa May Alcott. This was the first book that came to mind because it's gotten so much hype recently after the movie came out. And I really did like the movie, but I read the book like as a young girl <laughs> and um, I just, I hated it. Like my mom for some reason made me read it because there used to be books that she would like make me read. Um, another one of those was The Hobbit, which I also really hated that I also could use for this question. Um, but anyway, Little Women, she made me read it for some reason. I, I tried to leave it in a restaurant one time, so I didn't have to keep reading it. That's how much I didn't like it. I think maybe if I read it again, um, I would enjoy it a little bit more, but honestly, I don't want to read it again because I had such a bad experience with it. Um, and I'm sure, I'm sure it's good. Like, I'm sure it's really good, but it just, was not for me <laughs> when I was a kid anyway. Next question, bookmarks or dog ears? Bookmarks, definitely. I used to be a big dog ear person and sometimes I still like dog ear books that are older or books that like I've read before and they're like really well loved. Like my copy of The Perks of Being a Wallflower is like completely decimated. So like <laughs> in a good way. <laughs> so like I will dog ear that um, or like other older books that I've read before and that I'm not super worried about keeping in good condition. But I've been buying more new books recently and I don't want to mess up the pages at all. A book that I can always reread, that's the next question. Um, I have so many, probably any book um, in the Percy Jackson series, any book in the Heroes of Olympus series. I've reread The Raven Boys like two times since I have read it the first time. I also reread The Perks of Being a Wildflower at least twice a year. It's kind of like a tradition of mine. Yeah, I read reread Shakespeare plays. I reread Much Ado About Nothing. I'm about to reread Romeo and Juliet, but that's for school, so I don't think that really counts. I don't know. I like rereading. I read a lot of books. Um, next question is, can you read while listening to music? I definitely can't read while listening to music with lyrics. I don't think that's like 
a very unpopular experience. Sometimes I can read when I listen to instrumental music, but most of the instrumental music I listen to is from the Game of Thrones soundtrack, and that music is like super intense all the time pretty much. And I find that like if the vibe of whatever instrumental piece I'm listening to does not match the vibe of what's going on in the book, which it normally doesn't, it like throws me off and I can't keep listening to the music while I read it. It just it messes with my brain, I guess. <laughs> um, so I don't really listen to music while I'm reading. Next question is, do you prefer having one perspective in a book or multiple? I like having multiple perspectives. I generally write books with multiple perspectives, so I like reading books like that. Um, I think it really has to be done right though. Like it's really easy to do multiple perspectives really poorly. And I think a lot of the times when I come across multiple perspectives, they are done pretty poorly. But when it's done right and all the character voices are really distinct, I really like those kind of books and I really enjoy reading them. Do you read a book in one sitting or over multiple days? That's the next question. I generally read over multiple days. I wish I was like a one sitting, one day person for books, but I don't read that fast and I also just do not have the time. <laughs> Finally, the final question is who do you tag? Um, for this challenge, I tag anybody who wants to do it. I don't have enough booktube friends to feel confident or socially secure about tagging anybody. So if you want to be my booktube friend, message me on Twitter. <laughs> yeah, I tag anyone who wants to do this, honestly, just do it. I wasn't tagged by anybody. I just decided I wanted to um, do this little tag. So yeah, that's so irrelevant and I'm rambling. But anyway, that is the end of the video. Be sure to leave a like if you liked, um, comment below your answers to any of these questions, whether you agree, disagree with me, that kind of thing. Um, you can find my social media links in the description, my Twitter, Tumblr, and Goodreads if you want to follow me there. And be sure to subscribe if you have not already. I will be giving you guys a new video either next week or the week after that, depending on my school schedule, but it will be coming. Um, and I think that's everything. I will see you all next time.